Hello you guys! I am back again for another Buff Bunny Collection try on video and I know it's been a quick turnaround. I know it hasn't been long since the last collection but sometimes that's just what happens. They try to space it out but this one just happened quickly but oh my gosh you guys another insane launch. I, as you can see I this is my favorite color they've ever done, ever. I have to just get that out there right now at the beginning of the video. I am in love with this color, with this collection, the beautiful colors. This is the Bloom Collection launching July 17th at 1 p.m. Central Time. So 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain. I'll put all the times on the screen for you guys, but I'm so excited. I hate being that person that's like, oh my God, this is my favorite launch, like every single launch, but this one is really amazing. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely up there. I, I hate saying my favorite because they're all just so good. It's hard to pick a favorite, but again, so many of my favorite pieces coming back in new colors and like the most beautiful colors. Like I'm just so happy. So I can't wait to share with you guys what I got and what is launching and I will be doing a full try on. And as always, I will give you my fully honest review. There's a few things where I'm like, hey, not so sure about. Um, I'll let you know how everything fits on me with my loose skin and always give you my recommendations, my top recommendations because you guys are spending your money on these pieces. I want you to have all the information. I want to give my full honest review. So there's a lot of fan favorites coming back in new colors and there's also some really cool new pieces. So I can't wait to share those with you guys. I also just want to take a second to say thank you so much for always showing out and showing support for me, throwing my code in there in the support your favorite athlete box. Again, it does give me a commission, so it just helps me and my family so much. And it shows Buff Bunny Collection that I sent you and it just really helps me grow within this company. And as I always say, you guys know how passionate I am about this company. And I think it's funny because I, I get so excited for these launches because one, it's just something for me to do. It's kind of like a hobby and um, I love collecting these pieces. It's just something I'm really passionate about and that I love. I love Buff Bunny collection so much. I love the pieces and mostly just because of the way it makes me feel. Like whenever I put on like this outfit right now, I just feel so confident and cute and it just makes me feel good, especially when I'm having like bad body image days and when you guys tag me in your posts of you guys wearing these things, telling me that you've never felt so confident in a workout outfit and you just, it motivates you to go to the gym. Like that is just, it makes my day. And everything this brand stands for, how inclusive they are in every aspect. I'm just so blessed to be a part of the team. So your support just keeps me on the team and keeps showing them that, you know, I'm sharing my obsession with you. Oh, so you guys know I do giveaways every single time just to give back to you. And once again, just to say thank you for your support. Um, it's not affiliated with Buff Bunny Collection in any way, but if you do use my code Felicia at checkout, you can submit um, a form. I always have it linked in my bio and at the description of these videos. It's very easy. It takes two seconds to fill out. Um, you just upload a screenshot of proof that you use my code and you'll be submitted into my giveaways. So I give away 20 $50 gift cards, so 20 winners total. So you have a really good chance of winning. So I will be giving away 20 $50 gift cards before this launch and then before each launch after that. So for this launch, if you do use my code, don't forget to submit that form because um, you wanna have a chance to win, why not? I also do a giveaway for everybody, which is um, partnered with Buff Bunny Collection for two $50 gift cards. So if you've never used my code before, um, if it's your first time trying Buff Bunny Collection, you still want a chance to win a gift card, definitely check out my Instagram uh, the week of the launch and I usually post it a few days before. Okay, so we are gonna start out with one of my all-time favorite pieces from Buff Bunny Collection. It is the Legacy Leggings. Ugh. This is the Rainwater Blue color. Again, this is my favorite color of any launch of any color they've ever had. It is just, oh, like, look at my phone case. It's literally my favorite color. <laughs> it matches so perfectly, but Periwinkle is my favorite color ever. So when I saw this, I died. I am so excited. I They sent me quite a bit of the Rainwater Blue pieces, but there's some pieces that I don't have this color in that I'm going to get for sure. Um, but I have the legacy leggings here in the rainwater blue. So the legacy leggings are Newbury fabric. So the same as the Rosa leggings, the buttery, soft, incredible material, really the main difference between these and the Rosa leggings, they are the same exact fabric. So if you love the Rosa leggings, you will love these as well, but these just have that beautiful butterfly glute contour on the back. Oh my God. It's so pretty pairs perfectly with the Monarch bra, which I'll talk about later, but oh my gosh, no front seam. These are just 
incredible. They are the softest thing you'll ever put on. They are amazing. They have a decent amount of stretch, but I would say these definitely have like a medium compression. I wear a size small in all of their leggings um, and these fit true to size for me personally. So I have a couple must haves from this launch and just like in Buff Bunny collection in general and the legacy leggings are definitely one of those. Um, same with like the Rosa leggings. They just are a staple. They are so soft. You will fall in love with the Newbury fabric. So um, that's one thing I also am excited about for this launch, like the last launch. Everything is energy and Newbury fabric, which are my two favorites. So I just have to love this launch because of that. So these are not sweat proof. So these will show sweat. So with any lighter color legging, there is a chance that it's gonna show some cellulite. The Newbury fabric isn't super, super thin. Um, so, I mean, these don't show my cellulite personally, but if you have a lot of cellulite, the lighter colors could possibly show some, but I, I say this every time and I know we all have different insecurities, but so many people have cellulite and it's totally fine. Um, this color is gorgeous. I feel like every single person needs something in this color from this launch. It is so beautiful. So yes, these are the legacy leggings. These are coming in a few different colors. So I highly 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 recommend you grab a pair of these these are definitely a staple piece Alrighty, next up we have the very popular rosa pocket leggings i have the quarry gray color here and these once again are a fan favorite they are the rosa leggings but they have pockets and i love i have so many of these in black because these are such a great everyday legging especially if you're carrying stuff like with my kids it's so nice to just slip my phone in here these are um, big enough pockets for your phone your keys like they are they're super nice and it's newbury fabric so same as the legacy leggings that buttery freaking amazing material and it has pockets so if you love pocket leggings definitely recommend a pair of rosa pocket leggings um rosa legacy anything newbury fabric you cannot go wrong these are freaking amazing so same thing as the legacy leggings like they have like a medium compression they are 26 inch inseam and they have a little booty contour. They don't have the butterfly seams, but they do have kind of a divot um, to accentuate your booty. These uh, make your butt look super good. These are coming in a few colors, one of which is rainwater blue. So I will definitely be snagging a pair of those because again, I need everything in this color. It's so pretty. And Rosa pocket leggings are another staple. Um, like I said, I have like almost a whole drawer of black rosa pocket rosa and legacy leggings that i wear as my everyday legging with t-shirts with um, if i go out with my friends like to the bar um, and for working out so they're very versatile as well which is nice especially when you're spending you know 68 dollars 64 dollars on a pair of leggings um, you want to be able to wear them a lot now with the newbury fabric they can pill if you don't take care of them so make sure you guys are washing your buff bunny collection according to the tag so most of the time it's cold wash and hang to dry do not put them in the dryer they will just pill easier um, and you want to get you know longevity out of these pieces and i have had rosa leggings for two years and they're still in perfect condition maybe a little bit of pilling um so just take care of your pieces all right i know you guys are going to be excited about this one we have the return of these siren leggings they just released these in the last launch that you guys saw um, and they knew they were gonna be very popular, so they knew they wanted to have them in this launch as well. So these are the Siren leggings, and this is the new Eden print. So I'm gonna put it up close, but it is a beautiful flower print. It is so, so pretty. I was nervous. I Some of the prints, I just, like last the last launch, I just, you guys know, I didn't love that print. Um, like I didn't go out of my way to buy anything in that print personally, um, but this one I love, and this print is coming in gray which i have here pink um, which is the same pink that i have right here this beautiful pink color as well as this green i have that print right here so um, a few different options this one just looks super sharp and like badass like i just feel like it looks really really good i tried it on in my stories and i loved the way it looked on me so i love the siren leggings because they just have everything put into one they're energy fabric which is a light compression I will say these do not have a ton of compression, so just throwing that out there. Um, but they do have the butterfly detail, same as the Legacy leggings, and they have that crisscross in the front. So these just make your waist look snatched. They're super flattering, but again, in the lower belly area, they, they're not gonna completely suck you in. So just be aware of that. But I love these. Energy fabric, the main difference between Newbury fabric, which Rosa leggings, Legacy leggings, and 
the energy fabric is the energy fabric has more stretch and a little bit less compression so i find the new brief fabric has more compression it's just not as stretchy so with anything the more stretch you have a little bit less compression you're gonna have so just keep that in mind but these are freaking amazing they're so stretchy the energy fabric is insane um again true to size in these i am a small i would stick to that i did try extra smalls um, for the last launch and they fit but they just the waistband was rolling a lot up here so i like to stick to a small i don't personally have any rolling so i definitely love these so much and if you love the crisscross vibes go for it which i personally do i love my black ones so these are coming in plain black again which they sold out super fast last time so if you're wanting to get these in black or any of these prints um I would be ready. Alrighty, next up we have the aloe leggings. So these are a new legging, but I mean, they're pretty similar to um, the siren leggings. They just don't have the crisscross in the front or the butterfly detail in the back. They are energy fabric, so you still get that amazing energy fabric, super stretchy. Sorry, I'm trying to get this back. Um, so the, the contouring on the back is kind of uh, reminds me of the live leggings. So it's very deep right there. It's really gonna look good on your glutes make your booty look super good no front seam once again um they have this seam right here and this is the eden print green which is just so freaking pretty i love these colors so much the two green tones together just look so beautiful um and these are 26 inch and seam i found that the live leggings um slid down on me more than these new energy fabric leggings um these ones just don't slide as much on me so i wear small in these I personally wouldn't size down if you're in between sizes and you're not sure with the energy fabric I, was, I would always go with your smaller size just because it is so stretchy but otherwise i would just stick true, true to size these have a like ruching on the ankle um kind of like a ruffle little like pinched ruching look so super cute so different i really like it um it's just a nice little added touch so the aloe leggings again are energy fabric so very similar to siren leggings they just have the different details same fabric though so i'm really excited about these i definitely think i'm going to snag these in another color probably the pinks i didn't get anything in the pink print um and i'm really excited about that and i just want to mention i do get sent all of this as an athlete um you know it's gifted to me but i spend my own money every single launch too much money um i just have such an obsession and whatever pieces i get to try on and that i love i just want more colors of so i will definitely be getting more colors of those Alrighty, moving on to shorts we have the legacy biker shorts so if you guys remember from last launch you know that the legacy shorts are my favorite um not only because they're newbury fabric but they just oh, it, it's the butterfly detail for me it's so beautiful and also i find these ones are one of the only ones that really don't squeeze my thighs this band isn't super tight at the end like i found the live shorts which i love but i just found they squeeze my thighs a little bit too much the legacy shorts don't and they don't roll they're just the perfect short so i'm super excited about the biker short if you love biker shorts you will love these they feel like straight butter and they're not as long as these siren biker shorts um, from the last launch those were like a little bit long very seven inch inseam so standard biker short size they don't go all the way down to like right above my knees i'm five foot seven so these are just the perfect length biker short for me i think it's the same as the bossy print uh legacy biker short that they've had before so if you have those it's that same exact one just a different color this is the desert rose pink which is just another must color from this this all-time favorite this another favorite it is so beautiful it's the most beautiful pink color i wish you guys could see it like how it really looks um so pretty so these are definitely a must there's also another biker short coming out called the bonsai biker short which i don't personally have but they have an interesting contouring on them almost kind of reminds me of the outlaw legging um contour like down the side of the leg they are also new brief fabric but they are an eight inch inseam so a little bit longer than the legacy ones um same new brief fabric just a little longer and they have different contouring so they kind of have like a little curve around the side so um i don't have those but i will let you guys know okay, stay tuned on my instagram and also make sure you're following buff bunny collection for updates on those um and when i have all that information i'll let you know all right next up something i'm really excited for i know i think there's kind of like mixed thoughts on this these are the level up shorts and yes they are basketball shorts so these are definitely like a lounge short or like running a quick errand i would not work out in these it just seems weird <laughs> i mean you totally can but i personally wouldn't these are definitely like 
wear around the house. I was wearing them around the house today. They're actually, I just went and pulled these out of the dryer because mom life, Jack's, I, had, I got poop on them, so that's nice. Um, it came out though, so that's good. Anyways, TMI. These are a basketball short, so they have the mesh on the outside and they have a inner um, liner. So the inside liner is six inch inseam and the short itself is eight inch inseam. So it is longer. These fit me perfectly. They hit at the perfect spot on my legs. They don't look awkward on me. I think if you're shorter, they might be interesting. Um, I'm not sure how these would look if you're super, super short, because I just feel like they'd be really long and like baggy and I don't know. I don't know. I feel like mm, these are more tailored for like taller girls, but I mean, Heidi was wearing these in her picture and she looked really good. So I don't know. I'm going to kind of check out some of the other girls, see what they think about them and like the shorter girls and see like how they like them. But this is the ivory color. It is so nice. I will definitely be picking these up in this blue color, of course, and maybe honestly like every color because I am obsessed. I was wearing them around the house all day. They're so comfortable and they're very soft and silky. Um, and the waistband is like decently long, like thicker and they are high waisted. So they go right at the perfect spot on your belly and they kind of hide like that. You know, if you have a mom pouch, kind of that area, um, they do have the, uh, logo on the back. So love these. They have a functional drawstring. Um, so I don't know if it's unpopular opinion, but I, I like these and I'm sticking to it. Alrighty, now we're gonna start on bras. So first up is the Eden sports bra. And I, I honestly, I, I have to be honest with you guys, I don't love this on me. Um, it's, I feel like it's just not, kind of not my style. The straps just, I don't know, something about the style of it is just not for me. It kind of gives me like medieval vibes for some reason, I don't know, but it's really cute. It has this little back detail. It's not long line, which of course that's not my favorite. I love a long line. Um, and the straps are thick and they have like this, I don't know, you'll see when I try it on, but the way that this hit um, around my armpit was just not flattering on me. It really dug into my armpits, I feel like. This one just was not flattering on that area for me. Um, Heidi wore this in this picture and she looked so freaking gorgeous, but it just did not look great on me. It is cute, like the design of it. It's just not my personal style. I don't know, something about the vibe, the, the straps. Um, again, it just kind of gave me medieval vibes. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but um, I love the print. It just honestly did not work for me. It is energy fabric, so it's very soft, but if this is your style, I think you'll really, really like it. But yeah, I don't know. This came up like at just a weird spot. It came up kind of high, but not enough to cover the area. It really just kind of like accentuated that for me. So not for me, but it is a cute bra and it does go with the aloe leggings and the siren leggings really, really well. So if you kind of want that matching set, this would be really cute. All right, I'm so excited to talk about this. This is the Monarch bra. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, if you've watched my Buff Bunny videos, you know, this is a staple and one of my all time favorites. This and the Revolution bra I talk about all the time. Last lunch they had the Revolution bra and I said the Monarch and the Revolution are my top two favorites um, along with the Maraschino, the Rosa, but something about this bra, I have to recommend it for every single person. First of all, the back is just so freaking unique and stunning, especially paired with the Legacy leggings. That set is a must, um, just because they're both my favorites. And the butterfly detailing on here, paired with the butterfly seaming on the leggings, is my favorite combo ever. It is so freaking beautiful and unique. I love this bra so much. And what I love about it is, one, it's long lined, which you guys know, I love a long line bra, which is why I love this and the Revolution and the Rosa so much is because it has this long line right here. So kind of fits closer to a crop top rather than cutting off right under your boobs. I just find that to be much more flattering on me personally. This one does not show a ton of my armpit skin. Um, and the back, I, when I first had a Monarch bra long ago, I just was nervous that this was gonna have back spillage and it was just not gonna be flattering, but it is so flattering. The straps just lay so beautifully. They don't dig in, they don't do any of that. They are so, so, so comfortable. And another thing I love about this is the front detailing is so flattering on the girls. It makes them look super good. It's not too low cut, we're gonna be completely falling out, but it's just the perfect amount of cut that is just so flattering. I highly recommend this bra. This is definitely like a medium support. Um, it's definitely not full support and it is a little bit boobier. It's not, like I said, it's not super booby, but 
Um, it's not all the way full coverage, but I still recommend this to every single person. It is a fan favorite. You guys tag me in this one all the time because it's just so stunning. Like when I put this on, I just feel like a million bucks, especially this and the legacy legging combo. It is the best with this spice jacket. That is my must have set from this launch for sure. So cute, again, a staple for me. If you were to ask me as a first time Buff Bunny collection buyer, what my staples are, this is one of them. It is also coming in the Rainwater Blue, which they sent me, which I'm so happy. I have so many colors of the Monarch bra because again, it's a staple for me. I wear it all the time, especially on those days where I'm just feeling like super blah and I'm like, what can I wear where I'm just gonna feel so cute and so beautiful? Always a Monarch bra. It is just, it's that bra that makes you feel so good. So, oh, I can't get over this color, oh my gosh. I want to be buried in this color, please and thank you. Um, but yes, definitely recommend a Monarch bra for everybody. All right, next up we have another fan favorite, which is the Alpha Sports bra. This one has come and gone here and there. Um, one thing I love about it is it is long line, just like the Monarch bra. This has a really, 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 really beautiful strappy back. It's hard to show it from this way, but you'll see it in my try on. It is a very strappy back. Now, I will say the only thing that I don't love about this bra is it is very low cut. So for someone like me that has like mom boobs, small boobs, saggy boobs, <laughs> it is, it's not horrible on me. It still makes them look okay, but I kind of have to adjust them. I honestly, I think I would like to size down in this for the um, kind of support to kind of push them down more. Um, but then I think that the straps might cut in to me a little bit. So I honestly am just going to stick to my true size in this one. Ugh, again, this color is just so freaking beautiful. Every time you guys tag me wearing this, I'm like, oh my God, it is just stunning. And again, it is very low cut. So I would not do any like hit workouts or burpees or anything in this because you probably will fall out of it. Um, it's super low cut. So I don't know if I would recommend this for a very, very large chested women. It looks great on women that have like implants or like really nice perky boobs, but it's just not super supportive. So I do love that it's long line and I do love the strappy back, it's so beautiful. Um, so this is up there in my favorites, but it's not like, if I were to recommend a bra for you, I would recommend the Monarch bra over this one personally. But this is also nice to have in your closet just for those days where you're like lifting weights and you just wanna look super sexy. It is very sexy bra and very open. So I definitely love this one too. Um, it's just not my absolute favorite. All right, here we have the Botanical Sports Bra. A lot of you guys are super excited about this one. I'm very excited about this one. It has a really cute cagey front up here and then it has a full coverage back. Um, and this is not long line, but it does have a nice support right here. Um, removable cup pads, just like all the bras. But I would say this one is probably one of the most supportive ones in this collection. So if you have a bigger chest and you're looking for the best support, which is also really cute, I would suggest this. I would say medium to high support. Um, and I just love the fact that it has the full coverage back if that's something that you like. This is energy fabric, so it's very, very soft. Um, it has really nice padding in there. I know a lot of people remove the pads, but I personally don't. Sometimes I do, it just kind of depends. But um, I love the cage front. They've had something like this similar in the past and it was very popular. Um, it's super cute and just super unique. So I find this was really flattering on me. Um, it came up pretty good on my armpits, so it wasn't showing too much of that armpit skin. Armpit skin is normal. I'm not here to like say it's not, but it's just something that, you know, I like to, I notice with bras and that I like to, you know, take into consideration. So this one fit me really, really nicely. I am a medium in this. Um, I love how unique this is. I will say it was a little tough to like get on and off without getting makeup on it. I did get makeup on it, but I mean, if you don't wear makeup, it's fine. <laughs> Just be careful getting this on and off because these come up pretty high, um, but this is so cute. And I know when I did my unboxing, a lot of you guys were excited about this one. So I definitely would recommend this. Super cute. And like I said, one of the more um, better coverage, um, more supportive bras in this collection. Hey you guys, this freaking, oh, this crop top is so cute. Wait till you see the back. This is the Ivy crop. This reminds me so much of the swim top, the Surfside swim top. Look at the back. <gasps> it is so freaking cute, super strappy, so freaking cute. Oh my God, when I pulled this out of the box, I was 
giant. This with the siren leggings was oh, the cutest set ever. So freaking cute. And a lot of people were asking if it shows a lot of back fat and it doesn't squeeze my back fat, but I mean, if you do carry more fat in your back, it's gonna show some of it. Um, I do carry fat in my back, but it was still flattering on me. I'm still buying another color or two of this. Um, I love this crop top so much. And it did show a little bit armpit skin, the way it's cut, but not super bad to where I would, like, would never wanna wear it. It is so dang cute. Highly recommend. And this with the siren leggings is the cutest little set. So it is a crop top technically, but it has padding and it has like a little seam right here. It is very full coverage and supportive. So if that's something you're looking for as well, kind of like the caged up, um, but this is more of a crop top. It goes down longer, like a crop top. So it is like tighter fitting. It's not super loosey. So um, keep that in mind. But this is one of my favorite things from this launch. One of my favorite new pieces from this launch for sure. Okay, another one of my favorite pieces from this new, favorite new pieces from this launch is this rainforest crop top. Look at the back. <gasps> it is so cute. And what I love about it is it's so flowy in the sleeves and in the front. It is a crop top, but it's not tight fitting, you know, like um, there's some tight fitting crop tops that Buff Bunny comes out with, but I just love a nice flowy crop with some high waisted leggings. Oh, it's such a go to. And I love this cute little tie back here with the open back. I just feel like it's so dang cute. It's also coming in black and tan and I'm picking up both colors because um, I feel like this is gonna be such a go-to for me. I hope they come back out with this in more colors in future launches um, because it's definitely one of my favorite crop tops they've ever had. And it is the Nimbus fabric, which is just like a very stretchy, bouncy, like cool feeling. Um, soft material. It is incredible. So I love this green too. It's super nice, like a foresty green, but I would recommend picking one of these up if you're a crop top girl, but you don't want it to be super tight. It just fits so dang nice. Um, and this would be really nice with some high-waisted shorts this summer or just to wear around the house and lounge in. It's just like such a nice material and it just fits super flattering. Okay, next up we have the Flora crop top and this was super intriguing to me. It is a long sleeve crop top. It's definitely a very tight fitting crop top. I have a medium. It's pretty tight on me, but it's comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. Um, and it also has this little cinch up the front. So um, you can kind of tell there's like a little theme with the cinching um, in this launch. It has this little metal thing that you can cinch up tighter or you can make it looser and a little bit longer. Um, but this actually was super cute. I think why I like it is because it's energy fabric. So it's just super soft, but it's, it has some stretch, but it's definitely a tight fitting crop. So it has no looseness. It's not flowy at all. It's very tight. So um, I love that I can cinch this up. I like it cinched up with like the um, siren leggings would just be so flattering on your waist and your hips. So cute. Um, I don't think sizing up would change much just because it is made to be a tighter crop top. I mean, it might give you a little bit more room, but mm, I mean, I, I could do a large. I definitely would not size down. Um, I would either stick true to size and it wouldn't hurt to size up if you don't want it to be super, super tight. But again, it's not going to be a flowy top at all. Okay, here we have the canopy crop top. And I have to be totally honest, I do not like this crop top. Um, when I saw it in the email, I was like, um, it's just very much not my style. I just don't think it's flattering on me at all. Um, and honestly, the fabric, I don't know if this is the same as the other one. Okay, so I just looked, it is a lightweight mesh is what it says. It is, uh, 86 nylon and 14 spandex just like doesn't feel nice um it's not scratchy i mean it's soft but it just doesn't feel super luxurious like the other fabric um so it has the cinching on both sides it's kind of hard to see in the black um and then it also has it in the back so you can kind of adjust it to what you like but i mean i'll show you me trying it on it just it's not it for me. I would not recommend this one. I mean, it's very different and I commend them for stepping out and trying new things and different things. It's just definitely not my style and not something that I would personally buy. Um, I, I just, it's not my thing. This is coming in a few colors. I'll try to find some pictures of the other colors, but again, I just, I don't like this one. Okay, now we have the green thumb jacket. This is so dang cute and it's more of like a shorter jacket, which I was like, mm, not sure about, but I actually freaking 
love the way it looks. It is so dang cute. And it's definitely a tighter fitting jacket. Um, kind of reminds me of the Phantom jacket, but not the same contouring on it. Just the same material feel, like that very soft, um, very nice material. Um, I don't think they're the same material, but they just feel similar. Um, and this has like a little bit of a high neck up here. And again, it is like a shorter one. So I'll show you when I'm trying it on. Um, so if you like a longer jacket that kind of covers your lower stomach, then you might not love this one. But this with some high-waisted leggings or a cute pair of shorts, so cute. And it is a tighter fitting jacket. So it's not flowy. It's not gonna be loose. It is like a more body contour fit jacket, but I'm definitely gonna pick up another color in this. All right, next up we have the Spice jacket. And this has launched before in other colors. I have all the colors they've launched before because I love this jacket so much. I'm wearing it right now. And I also have it in the green color. And this is like a fully mesh jacket. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is the perfect jacket for everything, for working out, especially if I am going to the gym, I love to throw on a jacket like while I'm walking in or just like to have, you know, until I like start working out and I take it off. This is my favorite one to throw on. It is so cute because it's, it's like see-through, it's mesh. You can still kind of see what you're wearing underneath it. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. It comes down the perfect length. It is very nice material. It is the mesh, but it's super soft. And it has a little bit of stretch. It is a tighter fitting jacket, but not like super tight like the other one that I showed. It definitely has a little bit of give in it, like down here in the stomach area. It has pockets and I cannot rave about this enough. This is, like I said before, this is one of my favorite um, pieces from this launch. I just feel like everyone will be happy with it. Everyone will love it. And it's very breathable, great for spring and summertime. And then I also, I wear it all year round. I have the black, white, blue. Um, I have a couple colors of this and I'm super excited. It's coming in a few colors and I can't suggest it enough, you guys. It does have a hood as well. And it has, did I say it has pockets? It has pockets. It has a um, metal zipper with the Buff Bunny logo and also has the metal branding on, I wanna say on the side somewhere. Yes, on this side over here. Um, but it's so dang cute and comfortable. Oh, I recommend one of my favorite jackets from them of all time, but it's this in the Phantom jacket. And I liked the Nova zip, but this one is just the one I wear super, super often. I always grab it. Here we have the stem tank and this is so cute. And what I like about this is it's a flowier tank. So it is full length, it is flowier, it is the Nimbus fabric, which is super nice. And then the whole back is mesh. And something else about this tank that I like is it has a scoop on the side. So it comes down really low on the side. So it shows a little bit of skin. So wear this with a cute bra, Monarch bra, or any cute like sports bra or bandeau, um, super cute. It does have a dip here. So just so you guys are aware of that, it will show some skin on the sides and then it has that really nice open back and the entire back is mesh. And these sides like twist and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I thought it looked like wrong. Like I was like, wait, what's happening here? Um, but it's actually really cute on. So I love this. I think this is just coming in this color and black but it's really nice. And I know a lot of you guys like full length tanks and this one is super nice because it's not like skin tight. Um, I wear a medium. You could honestly size up in this if you would want a little bit more room in the like um, stomach area, but I am gonna stick true to size. I actually might pick this up in the black. And again, I just love the Nimbus fabric. It's just like a very cooling, um, smooth like it's just so nice it feels super luxurious so i definitely like this tank i'm so happy they did a full-length tank because i always love a full-length tank to throw on um again perfect for summer and spring because it's just that really open cool feel with the open back and the open sides um i love this so another crop top that i didn't get is the synthesis crop it looks more like a bra to me um, I'll try to insert some pictures, but it has ruching in the front. That's kind of the theme, like I said. Um, and it just kind of looks, I don't know, it's like hard to explain. I'll have to put some pictures, but again, I don't have it, so it's hard to review. Um, but I will let you know, again, stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll let you know kind of what I'm hearing and what I'm thinking. Um, but it's, it looks like a sports bra, but it's a crop. So I don't know. I'm going to see if any of the other girls got it and see what they think about it, and I'll keep you updated. Also, they are launching two bodysuits. They have the Vine bodysuit, which is a full-length bodysuit, um, like a full-length leg, um, and it's a tank on the top. And then a and then also the bio body suit which is a shorts bodysuit and it has those um same as the spin shorts the little um grip so it doesn't roll up now i'm gonna be honest i am not it's not my thing i would never wear them um it's just not my personal style i know some people love bodysuits i like rompers and like jumpers but like tight like 
short bodysuit and like a long pants bodysuit that's tight, like skin tight. I just, I would never personally wear it. So I did not receive those. I did not ask for those because it's just not my thing. But I mean, if that's something you're interested in, definitely check out their Instagram when they're posting about it and see what you think. I'll post pictures here as well, but it's just not my thing. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't want to sit here and be like, yeah, when I would never personally wear it myself. It's it's just not my thing. I'm not knocking it either. Like I, so many people are really excited about it and it's so different. And that's like another thing I just commend them for is trying different things in the active wear world. I've seen a couple brands do it. Um, it's just totally not my thing. So um, if that's your style, if that's something that you're excited about, definitely take a look into it. Okay, quick break because I totally forgot to mention this score in my talking video. Um, this is the, I'll put it on the screen. I forget the name right now at the top of my head, but it's a freaking score, you guys. It's so cute. It has a liner underneath with pockets. You can put your phone, a ball, whatever, if you're playing tennis. Um, and then the skirt itself is, oh, it's so cute. It's the perfect length. I love that this has the band here to go up high and like conceal your tummy. And then it has a little look on the back. It is so dang cute, you guys. And they're making the same thing with a mesh material. And you guys, they are coming out with a brand new color of the Game Changer backpack. So I don't have the new color, but it is coming in a army green, like an olive army green. Ah, it's so exciting. I want it, but I know I don't need it. I have so many colors of it. I honestly might get it because again, Buff Bunny collection and like the Game Changer bags, I collect these pieces. Like it's like a collection to me, Buff Bunny collection, but you know what I mean? Like some people collect certain things. I just love collecting Buff Bunny collection. So I kind of want the olive green and the Game Changer backpack is something that I cannot recommend enough. It is not an activewear piece, but it is Guys, if, if anything from Buff Bunny Collection is like a staple to me, it's this. I, literally my kids' water bottles in here. I use this more than anything I've ever had from Buff Bunny Collection. I use this every single day. This is my gym bag. This is my diaper bag. This is my purse. I use this for everything. It is literally the best thing in the world. And this, this color is not available anymore, but it's so cute. Um, I have Jax's water bottle here. It has so many compartments. I take it every time I travel as my carry-on and through the airport because it's a backpack. So it's so easy to carry around. It fits so much. I put my food down here. This is an insulated compartment. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard me talk about it before because I just, I, it is such a staple. This is all insulated. I have some sour strips down here. So you can put meal prep. If you go to work and you want to put your, your lunch in here or your dinner, um, it'll keep it in there. I keep Jax's bottles in here or um, my kids' snacks, like cheese sticks, things that need to be kept cold or warm. I keep them in here. And then the inside is so roomy. I don't know what I have in here. Oh my gosh, I was looking for this. This is Weston's T-ball mitt. Um, I, took, I take this to his T-ball games. I have Jax's toys in here, diapers. Um, looks like a crushed up Nutri-Green bar, <laughs> fruit snacks. I keep, literally you can fit so much stuff in here, you guys. It is so roomy. There's a pocket up here. There's a water bottle pocket on the inside. What do I have in there? I have lip gloss, a mask. Like I just, I use this for everything. It also has a laptop compartment on the side. It's like a little hidden compartment here where you can slip a laptop in it or paperwork. <laughs> more masks um so there's just so much room and it's so dang cute so the olive green i believe has gold um zipper detailing and logo but i literally you guys i can't recommend this bag enough it is my favorite they also have um tote bags but something about the backpack i just I have to recommend it to everybody because it's so versatile. You can use it for everything. If you're a teacher, if you go to work at an office job and you need to bring some lunch or store your stuff, a gym bag, I have the black one is my gym bag. I just keep it in my car. Um, moms, this is the best freaking diaper bag because it's so cute and it holds so much stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about the olive green. I think I might get it. And it's totally 1 million percent worth the investment. They usually run for like $99. And with how much I've used these bags, it is way worth it. 
And of course they are coming out with accessories. So they have the glute bands, which is a must. They're only, I think like 20 bucks and they are the best glute bands. I use them every time I work out legs. They're so nice. They don't roll, they're nice and thick, good quality. They have the headbands and the scrunchies that are great as well in this color and the prints, I think. Um, and I think that's it. So I can't wait to hear you guys think about this. Are you excited? I'm very, very excited. I cannot wait to get more of this color and the pink and I'm picking up so much stuff. This launch is freaking amazing. And if you do shop this launch and you would like to support me, you can throw in code Felicia. It really, really helps me out in uh, so many different ways. And I just can't thank you guys enough for your constant support. You guys are truly the greatest supporter. I know it's a totally like an unnecessary step. It does not give a discount, but it just helps me so much grow within the brand. And yes, it gives me a commission as well. So that of course helps me out. It just means so, 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 so much to me. So if you do it, make sure you tag me on Instagram, but do not forget to fill out that form. Um, link to my bio, I will link it here because you wanna be entered to win. Um, why not, right? So I really, really appreciate it. I also have a link. Um, I'll, every time there's a launch, I have someone message me that says they forgot to throw in my code in the heat of the moment. So um, if you're going to shop, instead of typing in buffbunny.com, just add in slash Felicia at the end, and that automatically directly supports me as well. And you can still submit your form. Um, I just can check my back end with your order confirmation number. So um, that's another way as well. And I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Now, Buff Bunny Collection has done amazing at increasing their stock. Like freaking amazing. Every launch just gets better and better. Um, they have so much stock, but I will say there are pieces that will sell out faster than others. So in my prediction, this color is going to sell out probably the fastest in everything the legacy leggings, the rose pocket leggings, probably this jacket. Um, definitely the Monarch bra is very popular, especially in these two colors, the pink and the blue. So just be aware of that. Um, that is like probably my prediction. The alpha bra tends to be very popular. So I highly recommend getting on the website like five minutes before the launch, typing in buffbunny.com slash Felicia <laughs> if you want to and have a list of things ready to go. Know exactly what you want before the launch starts refresh and add everything to your car as quick as possible. You should be good to go on that, um, but I can't promise that really popular items aren't gonna sell out. They don't stay in your cart, so you just have to check out fast. You can't kind of like dilly-dally around because things will get taken out of your cart. And again, I know I say it constantly, but I just have to thank you guys. I wouldn't have any of these pieces to try. I wouldn't be an affiliate and an athlete with Buff Bunny Collection as it, if it wasn't for you guys. So I can't sit here and show you guys everything that I got without saying thank you. It really means so much to me how supportive you guys are of everything that I do. So thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm also gonna be doing a Q&A probably the day or day, two, day or two before the launch. I am going on vacation. So on launch day, I'll probably be in the car um, driving back home. We're going to North Carolina. So um, I'm gonna be busy that week, but I'm gonna try my best to answer all of your questions. Make sure you guys are prepared and feeling good about this. So. I can't wait to see what you guys get and let me know if you have any questions. I will see you guys in my next one.